Okay, good evening everyone. Please have a seat. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. And a very special night as we are about. Tonight is the Yodzeit, the 30th Yodzeit of the Lubavitcher Rebbe. And that's the Hebrew date of tonight is Gimel Tammuz, the 3rd of Tammuz. And I want to thank you for being us, being with us here tonight. I think it's many people, I was mentioning to people as they were walking in, going to be about 50,000 people going to the Rebbe's Ohel, the Rebbe's gravesite, uh, tonight and tomorrow. I will be going tomorrow morning. And usually the lines are for many, many hours, for three hours, for four hours. And I think the second best place to be on the Rebbe's Yod site is in a Chabad house. Seeing, being part of the Rebbe's vision, what the Rebbe always wanted. You know, the Rebbe mentioned once to someone that he wants, his dream is that whenever a Jew is anywhere around the world, they will need some help, they will know that they can come to Chabad, they can call Chabad and they will get that help. And thank God, here in Hackensack, we had the great privilege to open a Chabad house about five years ago. As you look around the building, we did not build this building, as you can imagine. The building was a, a conservative congregation for many, many years. And as it happened, unfortunately, all over the country, they, a lot of the members were aging and they did not have enough people to sustain the place. And then they came to Chabad and they knew that Chabad is going to say yes, because that's what the Rebbe taught us. And a lot of people were saying, you know, Hackensack is not really a vibrant Jewish community. And a lot of people were doubting and questioning. And thank God, slowly, slowly, slowly but surely, we are building, we are growing. And that is all thanks to the Rebbe's vision. And a lot of the people that we serve, and we're going to speak about it in a second, before we're going to play the clip that uh, Senator Cory Booker sent us, are not even here in Shul. They might not even be coming to Shul on a regular basis. They're in the hospital, they're in the Bergen County Jail, and that is all thanks to the Rebbe's vision. So tonight, as we commemorate the Rebbe's 30th Yod site, we are going to learn, hear, watch stories about the Rebbe, and hopefully be inspired to follow the Rebbe's example and the Rebbe's vision. Let's begin first with a prayer for our brothers and sisters in Eretz Israel, and I will ask everyone to please rise as we say Kapitel Kuf Chav Gimel 123 in Tehillim, followed by singing Achenu together with our very own musician Israel Prus. So we'll start first by Kapitel Kuf Chav Gimel. Shir Amaloi Selech Anasos Yesei Nai Ayoi Shiva Shomoyim Ine Cheyene Avodim El Yad Adeneihem Keyene Shifcho El Yad Gvito you may be seated. We are davening for the welfare of our brothers and sisters, for the hostages to come back home, and for those that are Unfortunately, the bodies are in Gaza, should be able to marry, to have Kevei soil. We are davening for all the soldiers of the IDF, that God should be with them. They should be successful in their missions. They should come back home safely to their families, without being injured, without any harm. We are davening for our brothers and sisters that live in the soil in the north, in the south, in the center, all over the world, that they should be only experience only goodness and happiness and no fear. And we are davening for all the Eden everywhere, all the Jews everywhere. We should have only security, safety, and happiness. Please join us as the soil will be singing Achenu. <laughs> 